Now looking at thinking about using image merge codes. Image merge codes are used on brochure templates. Now to access your brochure templates, it's exactly the same way as accessing your letter templates. It's on the action menu on any record, letters, emails, SMS, create letter, email, SMS. You clone, create from scratch and use your existing or create your existing templates in exactly the same way for brochures as you do for your letters. However, your template type you'd be looking at or you'd be focusing on for brochures is property particulars. If you ever need to access a template ever further down the line to edit, you click the edit button to the side of it. Now we've got an existing brochure in the system. It was just one that we uploaded very, very quickly, a brochure that we use already and we wanted to get it into the system and then edit it at a later date. So this is what we will be doing now. On our existing brochure, clicking the edit button. This opens up the edit word template screen, where when we created the template, we've got the option of adding any notes, creating a task, or assigning an email template, which we can also do at a later date if needed by clicking the edit button. We're going to open up the template now. We're also going to open up the merge codes now because I'm using Chrome. At the bottom of my download, at the bottom of Chrome, when I click on the open template button, I get the download. Clicking on that will open it up within Word and we can open up our merge codes next to it as well. Now this is an existing brochure that we've used already before in a number of different property records. So we're just going to add any merge codes in that we need to make this brochure ready to be used as a brochure template within the system. Now the image inserted here, we've inserted as a standard image rather than a header like we did on the letters. To insert as a standard image, you just go to insert rather than double clicking at the top of the page insert, select pictures, and upload your logo. Anything you upload into or you insert into a brochure template needs to be wrapped in front of text. It's also a very good idea to get into the habit of assigning it to page as well. So collecting, clicking on position and going to more layout options and selecting page and page from the right hand side. Now, once again, you can hold down the control key on your keyboard and hover over the corner button to pull it in and then move it where you want it. And again, we've got the alignment guides turned on. So that's our logo inserted as a standard image. We do not need it as a header. We only want it on the front page. Scrolling down, we've got an image. Now, it may be easier at this point to actually zoom out a little bit just so you can see the entire image. Selecting the image, the best thing to do to make sure that you're inserting your image merge code as the same size as the image that was already here, we're going to go to Picture Tools and Format and make a note of the size. Once you've made a note of the size, you can delete the image and then we can start thinking about inserting the image merge codes. Now text merge codes is just a case of copying and pasting into the document. Image merge codes is a couple of more steps that need to be looked at or thought about. In the merge code panel, scrolling down the list of codes that, you are, that are available to you, we have got property photos. Opening up property photos and selecting photo one. So again, it's a left click of the mouse up to the top, right click and copy. However, instead of just inserting it into the document like so, which will just be a web link, within Word, we go to insert, pictures, and paste the merge code into the file name box, either by right clicking and pasting or control V for Victor on your keyboard. Once you've pasted the merge code into the file name, on the insert drop down, click on that and select the link to file option from the drop down. Once you've inserted the image, go to wrap text up at the top, select more layout options from the bottom, 
we can then wrap it in front of text, then go to the position tab, position to page, and page, go to the size box, untick the two tick boxes at the bottom, and change the size. OK, and then we can move the image where we want it as well. We can now zoom back in and we can start work on these merge codes here. Now, these are text merge codes. We've seen those before already, but just to show you again, they are in individual text boxes. So we've got image uh, merge codes here, one to three in this text box and four, five and six in this text box. Now these are the star items, so you can delete those, close down property photos, up to property codes, and select property advert text. Scrolling down we've got star item 1, so it's a left click, up to the top, right click, copy, into the document, and paste. Then do the same with star item 2. and fill all of the star items in. Once you've filled the star items in again, you can make any standard formatting changes to these. You can put them in bullet points. You can change the color of them. You can go to more colors just to give you some more word tips. If you go to more colors, you have got the option of changing your color if you know the RGB of your individual brand colors, or you can go to standard and choose one from there. So highlighting them, putting them in bullet points, and changing the colour. Okay. Also with your text merge codes, what you can do is make them all capitals by using this box here, the little box with an arrow coming out of it, which gives you the advanced options for the fonts. Selecting all capitals from there and pressing OK. Next down here then we have got three further photos. So again, I'm going to make a note of the size. Now they are all the same size, so I can click delete on that one, delete on this one, and delete on that one. Into the merge code panel, closing down property advert text and property codes, and scrolling back down to property photos. Selecting photo two, left click, up to the top, right click, copy, into the document, insert, pictures, paste the merge code into the file name box, insert drop down, link to file, wrap text, more layout options, wrap in front of text, and position to page and page and then on the size tab untick the two tick boxes and change the size and then OK and then move it where you want it So again with photo three, left click, right click, copy, insert, pictures, paste it into the file name, insert drop down, link to file, wrap text, more layout options, in front of text, position, to page and page. On the size option, unlock the aspect ratio, untick relative to original picture size and change the size. And then we can do the same with photo four. 
Once you've inserted all the images, you can then move down and some more text merge codes here, which is just inserted in the same way as the text merge codes that were shown in the last section. These are property codes and they are property advert text. And again, you've got address line one to six and county, district, house name and number, postcode, street and town. Do not mix and match. Either use these three and these three or these six. Now at this point I prefer to use these three and these three because it's easier to know what you want at this point. So we don't want the house name and number but we do want the street address so we're going to left click, right click, copy into the document and paste. Paste all of the relevant address details in that we need and make the formatting changes to them like so. Next we have the price so scrolling down in the merge code panel to price left click, right click, copy into the document and paste. Now these boxes here, they are text boxes in front of shapes. So we're just going to select the shape, go to drawing tools, format, and you can change the color of them if, want, if you need to. And then do the same with the other one as well. This is our main advert text here, so it's just a case of copying and pasting in the advert main merge code, which is under property advert text. Next here we've got two text boxes. Now, continuing on, we're showing you some word tips. Within the text boxes, there is a link and it's created a link from the first one to the second one, which means when we get to the end of the first text box, it starts automatically filling up the second one. We can create a link between a second one and a third one to automatically start filling up when that happens as well. However, I'm just going to break the link to show you how to create one. So under format, we're just going to press break link. Okay, and you can see the information's disappeared. What we're going to do first of all though is remove all of the room details in here because you need to add in your room details merge codes. So clicking into the first text box and press the drawing tools format and create link. Clicking on that will give you the jug icon and when you move into a text box that you can create a link to, you will, the jug will start tipping. Clicking there has created the link between those two text boxes now. What we need to insert is our room details and our room details have got their own option. Opening up room property rooms and selecting room one name from the list. Copy, it's a text merge code so it just gets inserted. The same with number size, uh, room one size and then description. Making any formatting changes that you need to, so changing the font or making them a different color or making them all capitals. So we're gonna change the font of these as well to mirror the fonts everywhere else. And you would go ahead and add as many room details as you need, if not more. Okay, always add too many room details rather than not enough. Once we're done, we can also think about adding in things like the tenure type, which is held under property codes, the directions pod, um, if you've got one in your system, which is held under property advert text, maybe advert two, three, four, or five. And you can add all of the other information in that you need as well. Scrolling down next here is our floor plan. You may have two floor plans, but it is a picture. It's created or inserted at the same way as other picture merge codes. So going to picture tools and format and making a note of the size. You can then delete it and then going closing down property codes in the merge code panel and scrolling down to property floor plans. Now it's an image merge code, as I've said. So you just left click on the floor plan, 
merge code, up to the top, right click, copy, insert, pictures, paste the merge code into the file name box, on the insert drop down, link to file. On the wrap text drop down, more layout options down near the bottom and wrap in front of text. Go to the positions tab and position to page and page. On the size tab, unlock the aspect ratio and change the size. And then you can move it where you want it. This box here has got some standard text in it, so you can have standard text within your brochures. That does not all need to be merge codes, it can just be fixed text. However, we do need to change the colour of the box, so again, selecting it, drawing tools, format, and changing the shape fill and the shape outline. Scrolling down, we've got our energy performance certificate, which is a full page of the first certificate. Um, Obviously, if you've just uploaded the graph, you can just use a small box that would just pull the graph through onto the brochure. Either way, again, we're going to make a note of the size of the image as it currently stands within the brochure and then delete it. Under property links, and they're generally link one. So left clicking on link one image, as we've said, it is an image merge code. So up to the top, right click, copy. Insert, pictures, paste the merge code into the file name box, insert drop down, link to file, wrap text, more layout options, wrap in front of text, position to page and page, and on the size, Unlock the aspect ratio and change the size. You can then move it where you need it. And we are now done. We've inserted all of the images that we need. And we can now go File, Save As, and Save onto our local hard drive. Save. Once saved, you can close down Word, close down the Merge Code panel, press the Select button here, and upload your new brochure template. And then press Save.